Hello everybody, this is Dream Gamer back to kick off part 3 of the last 32 round. And well, if parts 1 and 2 were anything to go by, then we should be in for 4 more epic matches. So in this session, we are going to see our host Stranger Gamer going up against Carnotaurus Man, Arctic Warriors going up against Xeno Slick Goku, MHE10 taking a crack at Man, and then Team Africa going up against the champs Diddy Darius. Right, let's go over the first match, shall we? This is going to be a toughie. This is going to be a toughie for me. Ooh, oh, well, this would be an interesting, this could be an interesting field. Right, in the red corner for our host Stranger Gamer, we got the Mega Raptor. Our host's making it 4 out of 5 in the group stage, but how much will that loss against Dino Hunter affect them in this match? Backing up the Megs, we got the Blitz type Tarbosaurus. Tarbosaur has proven a valuable asset to this team. Definitely pulled shown his worth. Unlike a certain fire dinosaur. But yeah, this is gonna be a tough match. Right in the blue corner for Carnotaurus Man. We got the Carnotaurus. Carnotaurus Man, after a poor start to this tournament, actually doing pretty well overall. Got two great wins. And well, the net was defeated by uh, Morslet, but you know, they'd already qualified. Right, backing up the car, no, we got the Sukamimus. Now, the Sukamimus Tarbosaurus matchup could be a big one, but the Mega Raptor and the Carnotaurus both have terrain advantage. Of course, since they both have terrain advantage and are both coming in first, they cancel each other out. But the Mega Raptor does have quick strikes, so the Mega Raptor will be going for scissors. Ooh, this, this is a... This could be a close one. I mean, looking at the group stage, you think, oh yeah, our hosts are gonna, the hosts are gonna win this. Ooh, well, with well, a start like that, the hosts are probably going to win this. The quick strike succeed in there. And it's Mega Raptor again, the first hit on the corner. But that does trigger the Hurricane Beat. Damn it. <laughs> okay, that was a one. Ooh, Carnotaurus does get the next hit. A tuku tuku dive. Carnotaurus man got some flies of his own. <laughs> and an even start, as I suspected. Okay, so our host swaps when HP below half. Carnotaurus man in the red. Oh, I don't want to go paper. And that's why. That's why I didn't want to go paper. It's a hurricane beat. It could have come down to who got their crits off, and Carnotaurus Man has got his. Oh, that's a disaster. Alright, well, go for the firebomb. Oh, it doesn't even get a firebomb. It's, it's going wrong for the hosts again. There's another tie, but ties will favour the Carno. He's got Sonic Blast. Little chance of it activating though, but it's still got it. Okay, it's a firebomb. Carnotaurus will go down, so the terrain advantage won't actually be a factor in this match. Carnotaurus man will not get the swap out of the Carno, but Sukamimus comes in. And that thing does have a type advantage over Tarbosaurus. I was going to say terrain advantage, but no. <laughs> type advantage, not terrain advantage. Oh, it's a water sword, it's the worst case scenario! Wow. Oh wow, that, hurri that hurricane beat put him on top. Okay, it's a firebomb. Well, we'll see how much damage it does. It won't do as much damage as it normally does, but it'll still do some damage. Oh. Volcano Burst? Oh. <laughs> oh, I think this is the end. Come on then, let's get it over with. Oh, hang on, nope, not yet. Oh, come on, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. You'll give me, like, hits, and then you'll give him a hit, and you'll win. <laughs> well, let's see what happens. It all, well, it all comes down to this. If the Sukamimus gets the next hit, it's game over for the hosts. Oh, it's a tie! Now the hosts are in the driving seat, can they do it? Oh, they can! The 
Tarbosaurus showing its worth yet again. Picking up the Mega Raptor slack and getting the job done for the hosts. And well, I will say first thing first, commiserations to Carnotaurus Man who put up one hell of a fight. And yeah, it it just came down to those last couple of moves, but the Tarbosaurus hung on in there despite the type disadvantage and got it done. But yeah, that was really close. That's a relief because Carnotaurus Man was on top for most of that match. But a big result for our host Stranger Gamer and they go through to the last 16 round. And Carnotaurus Man, well, a good tournament I think overall. For their first time, good tournament. Some good they've had some good wins. Maybe if they started the tournament better, they probably would have done better overall and got an easier matchup, but yeah. Well done to them. Good tournament. But they just came up short. Right, let's move on to our next matchup and find out who our hosts will be facing next. Right, how will this play out? Ooh, okay. In the Colosseum. No terrain advantages here. Okie dokie, in the red corner, for Arctic Warriors we got Ken Alpha Kentrosaurus. Arctic Warriors enjoying a fine tournament so far. Did get defeated by Try in round 5, which means they which means they ended up in this matchup. Backing up the Alpha Kentrosaurus, we got the Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. Ding ding ding. Ooh, this is a this is a tough match to call, because both of our guys got fire and earth dinosaurs in their team. Gonna be a tough one to call this. I would have figured if it was in, well, if it was in the Alpha Arena, you obviously lean towards Arctic Warriors, but you know, because it isn't, and it's in the Coliseum, I think we could be in for an even contest. Right, in the blue corner for Xeno Goku, we got Gygus. Been a very mixed tournament for Xenos so far. Some good wins, some not so good results. So yeah, that inconsistency could will most likely do them in in the end. I don't think they'll get as far as the semis this time, but we'll see if they can get past the last 32 round. Ooh, that's a tie, but the Geigas does have the heat eruption. Ties do favour Zeno in this situation. And the ties fill up the bar as well. Ooh, that's a hit. That's a crap. Good start from Zeno Select Goku. Dropped the Kentrosaurus' HP below half and poisoned it. And then um, chucked some flames on it as well with Volcano Burst. But a good start there from Zeno Select Goku. Can Arctic Warriors get the swap? Nope! They don't get the swap! Gygus is going to finish the job on Kentrosaurus and take it out! And now, Zeno is well on top in this match. A big start. And Arctic Warriors could be in serious trouble already, because that bar is filling up. Well, we all remember Ur vs Dino Hunter, don't we? Oh, is it going to be a repeat? The bar is full. You know what that means? Time to enter the codes. Jakama! Oh, it's not looking good for Arctic Warriors. One hit from Zeno and it's game over. Arctic needs this hit. Ooh, gets it. Gets the crit. Needs another crit, though. The Geigers will attempt the swap, but it's, that's irrelevant at this point. Oh, it's game over for Optic. Geigers is going to finish the job with a Spectral Lancer. And a very impressive display from Xeno Slick Goku is going to knock Arctic Warriors out of the tournament. Wow. 
That was a dominant display from Zeno, and they will go through to face the host Stranger Gamer in the last 16 round. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, Geiger's got nothing. Geiger's got nothing. Right, let's move on to our third match of this session, shall we? Right, on to match number three. Ooh, okay, that is... Not good news if you are Mark. In the red corner, for Emmy JP10, we got the Blitz type Eucentrosaurus. So, yes, because Marn's T Rex will have the terrain disadvantage, Eucentrosaurus will get the first hit, which will be a Scissors. And then, because it's Blitz type, it'll go for a Crypt. And then, because it has Quick Strike as well, it'll go for Scissors. Also, backing up the Eucentrosaurus, we got the Blitz type dealt the Dromius. Well, it's been a mixed bag for MEG10 in this tournament so far. The Blitz type working and the Blitz type not working. Right in the blue corner for Marn, we got a T Rex. Marn being one of the powerhouses of this tournament thus far. Qualifying from Group D. But they might find it tricky in this match, especially on this field. Are dealing with all the blitz effects, but if they can get past that, then yeah, it'll be on for them. Backing up the T-Rex, we got a big bad Brontokins. Right, Marn swaps when HP's below half, as does MEJP10. Alright, at least that bit's easy for me. <laughs> right, here we go. So yep, yeah, Eucentrosaurus will get the first hit, since terrain advan advantages overtake the... Um, Quick, the quick strike and blitz effects, but really, it gets the quick strike anyway. Doom, doom, doom. Right now, the Eucentrosaurus will go for a crit. Oh, he doesn't get it. Ooh, that could be big. That could be big for Man there. Getting a crit of his own as well. Whoa, look at that! <laughs> that took me by surprise. Time to swap. Is a tie. Whoa, that was insane. And the T Rex needs to swap out as well. Whew. Wow, that wasn't even a burning dash. It almost killed it, wasn't it? <laughs> Eat your heart out, Blood Moon. <laughs> Well, the Delta Dromius will get hit. Man surviving the blitz there. Pretty well. Relatively unscathed. But the Delta Dromius will go for a crit. Because it is also blitz time. Ooh. MEGB10 gets that crit. <laughs> I think Bromtekins will be swapping straight back into the T-Rex. And you know what that means. Delta Dromius will get another crit. Indeed he will. So yep, yeah, here comes Brontekins. Gonna swap back into that T-Rex, but that's all the swapping Marn will be doing in this match. Problem though, is that the Delta Dromius, as I said, will get the ninja attack. And probably gonna and Amy GT10 is gonna need it. But that is all the swapping that Amy G that um Marn will be doing. T-Rex does have type advantage over Delta Dromius, so it won't die here, and if it gets a hit, it will probably be enough to win Man the match. Ooh, it doesn't get the hit, and it's not going to win Man the match. Instead, it is going down. And it'll be all up the, up the Brontokins. But Brontekins gets the job done. And it is game over for MEJP10 in this tournament. Well, I tell you what, it looked a bit... Sh well, I, ca I, I still can't get over that normal crit hitting the Eucentrosaurus. Man avoiding the blitz effects there to get the job done. As for MEJP10, well, they, they'll be bowing out of the tournament. 
But it was really nice to see someone else other than myself actually try using blitz types and quick strikes. So I commend them for that. But that will be all she wrote for them in this tournament. Now then, time to find out who Man's opponent will be. Right, well, this would be the upset of upsets. Especially on this field. Right, in the red corner, for Team Africa, we got the Afroinator. Team Africa surprising many by actually getting out of, the, out of Group F. And doing well to get this far. Can they join the Champions team in the last 16 round? It's, a bit, it's gonna be a massive ask for them to do it, but you know, we've seen upsets already. Iron Dan knocking up the Dino King out. We've seen it, it can happen. And Diddy Darius did lose to Team South America in the group stage. Right, backing up the Afrovenate though, we got the Aranosaurus. Right, in the blue corner for Diddy Darius, we got the Alpha Kentrosaurus. Our champ Diddy Darius will have terrain advantage. Finish the group of death top. Only just though, it was definitely a tough group. And they have had mixed results so far. Some very good performances, some not so good performances. Like against Team South America, as I just mentioned. Backing up the Alpha Kentosaurus, we got Shantungasaurus. Who we haven't really seen too much of, to be honest. Okay, so Diddy Darius swaps when HP is in the yellow. Team Africa when HP is below half. And the Afrovenator does have Quick Strike, so it will go for Scissors first. Well, actually, no. Terrain Advantage will play out first, sorry. Then the Quick Strike will happen. I know, they caught the bluff. Venom Fang coming in. This is going to do a lot of damage to the Afrobonita. And this is just the start Diddy Darius would want. There. Wow, that was a lot of damage. Actually, it'll be time to swap it out. Oh, they don't get it! Okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> I think this is the end for Team Africa. Oh, whoa! Wow! Wow, I actually survived? I'm pretty impressed. Okay, it didn't survive that, though. <laughs> wow, I'm actually surprised it survived. Well, in comes the Aranosaurus. Ooh, a welcome crit, though. Oh, nope, Dino Stuffer. And this um, Kentrosaurus doesn't have any Earth moves either, so we'll get type advantage. All plain sailing for Diddy Darius so far. But of course, we've seen in these tournaments before, whack and change in a flash. Uh, don't think... You, well, I say that, but let's, let's not get back. Let's remind ourselves of... Toka Nightmare against Random Shy Guy, where Toka basically dominated, and then Random Shy Guy almost snatched the win. <laughs> Ooh, there's a tie. Got Green Impulse, I think. Yeah, it's got Green Impulse. Needs a Green Impulse. Needs a Miracle. Well, there's no Miracle, but there's a head. Boosh! It's heroic type as well, so it'll do more damage than usual. Well, swapping is irrelevant unless Team Africa gets this hit. But we still have to try it. Oh, that's a tie. And yeah, there it is. Game over. No surprise then. Well, when you saw the field... Well, yeah, okay. Game over. And the champ, Diddy Darius, getting a comfortable passage to the last 16 round. And Team Africa bowing out. And yet, yeah, let's be honest, hands up. Who didn't see that come in? Yeah, yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> right, let's have a look at the matchups for the last 16 and we can end the session. Um, not really too many surprises in this session this time. Our hosts coming through with the skin of their teeth against Carnotaurus Man. Xeno Slick go comfortably winning against Arctic Warriors, I should say. Man avoiding all the blitzing from the MEGP10 to get through. And Diddy Darius probably the easiest knockout match they're ever gonna have 
And yeah, that is it. So, two more matches down here. We'll have our host Stranger Gamer going up against Xeno Slick Goku. Ooh, a tough match that could be. And then we have Man going up against Diddy Darius. Which I'm sure will be a much sterner test for Diddy Darius. Looking strong in this tournament. Looking strong. They could be ones to watch. But yeah, that is it for part three. Stay tuned for part four where we conclude the last 32 round. And until then, ta-ta.